what is up guys welcome back to the channel and to another roundup episode keeping you up to date on all the latest news and rumors and it has been a slow weekend when it comes to wwe news and rumors but now we're headed straight into monday night raw smackdown live and super showdown this week so we are gonna be busy right here we also got wwe 2k19 coming out on friday which i'm doing a midnight release stream so make sure that you guys be over there link to the channel will be in the description and also on the top comment of this video so go follow me over there if you haven't just yet nonetheless to get this roundup started i want to start off with a big update in regards to lip morgan who as you guys know suffered a concussion last week when she was in a tag team match so she ended up taking a couple of hits to the head from brie bella which looked extremely brutal and she definitely blacked out for a couple of seconds the latest coming from dave Melso of wrestling on server radio is that lip morgan isn't still sitting at home and she has been allowed to travel with the raw brand but obviously she hasn't been working when it comes to in-ring competition reports added that however an upcoming test will prove if she's going to be able to work again anytime soon after all she has a pretty big match coming up at the super showdown event reports indicated that if by any chance Lip morgan is not able to compete wwe plans on having alicia fox as her replacement at the event so so that is the latest in regards to Liv Morgan. I will of course keep you guys up to date as we head into the WWE Super Showdown event this upcoming weekend. As for the latest in regards to that show, let's go ahead and discuss about it and also talk about the matches that has been confirmed so far. So something that we know already is that the event is going to be airing on the WWE Network next Saturday at 10 a.m. BST, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, and 2 a.m. Pacific Time. And according According to the WWE Network time slot, the event is scheduled to last for at least 5 hours. And as far as I know, that's not even including the kickoff show, which as of me recording this, we don't know if they're having any special guests on the panels, like they did for the greatest Royal Rumble event, but regardless, that is expected to happen, we just need a couple more information in regards to it. So again, it seems like this is gonna run just like the greatest Royal Rumble event, and they treating it a big deal like if it was WrestleMania but not with the same type of hype also do keep in mind that the only titles that are on the line is the title from smackdown live and 205 live monday night raw literally doesn't have any title on the line as of right now and speaking about titles let's go ahead and run over the match card real quick so we got wwe championship anything goes match aj styles versus samoa joe then we got daniel bryan versus the miss the winner of this match will be the number one contender for the wwe championship wwe WWE SmackDown Tag Team Titles, The New Day vs. The Bar, WWE Cruiserweight Title, Cedric Alexander vs. Buddy Murphy, WWE SmackDown Women's Title, Becky Lynch vs. Charlotte Flair, The Shield vs. Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre and Dove Ziggler, The Undertaker with Kane vs. Triple H with Shawn Michaels, John Cena and Bobby Lashley vs. Kevin Owens and Elias, Ronda Rousey and the Bella Twins vs. The Riot Squad, Asuka and Naomi versus the Iconics. Moving on to some other news, cause last night was a busy one with New Japan Pro Wrestling. And the latest I wanna discuss is coming from Ringside News, talking about the possibility and big indication of Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes' pro wrestling future. So Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega are among the guides on the quote unquote indie wrestling scene that WWE is obviously interested in snatching up and bringing them in. After all, they once had a both of them in their company and they didn't give them the current IWGP heavyweight champion a chance in developmental and they painted the current NWA world heavyweight champion and new IWGP US champion Cody Rhodes to look like an insane intergalactic traveler but as Cody Rhodes secured the NWA world heavyweight championship at All In and won the IWGP United States title from Juice Robinson last night it is a pretty Pretty big indication that he will be staying around and staying away from the WWE to defend those two big titles. Dave Meltzer also ended up indicating the fact that Kenny Omega seems likely to stay in New Japan as well due to the current storyline they have him which should require one more very important match against Kota Ibushi. It was also noted that this match against Kota Ibushi would happen on a big stage and not one with a week's notice. 
this. So of course, only time will tell what happens with Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega, but Kenny Omega isn't part of the pack to stick together that the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, and Hangman Page all have right now. So they could be making different decisions. Cody Rhodes could always drop his titles and head to the WWE or New Japan Pro Wrestling could get them to sign an extension to work the MSG show at WrestleMania weekend. Things are gonna get very interesting before we get to figure figure everything out in regards to these guys but as of right now there's more indication that they're just staying where they at instead of going to the WWE out of all of this if anything I do see Cody Rhodes sticking around a little bit more in New Japan Pro Wrestling and so on even now that there's rumors of all in two already getting worked on we know that that's not gonna happen if Cody Rhodes ends up going to the WWE and he is literally on fire right now there's no point for him to go back and have WWE creative not know what to do with him moving on to some other news and just ready for wwe evolution pay-per-view maria canales ended up revealing in a youtube video that she has been clear to return to in-ring competition so pretty good news there to hear that she is ready for the big woman's pay-per-view moving on to some other news and something that continues to heat up every single week and that is the daniel bryan versus the miss feud which got well on the way before SummerSlam, and of course even before before Daniel Bryan was clear and I'm actually excited for this because we're getting reports indicating that this feud is nowhere near done as WWE is planning on making this feud a long one and this I'm not necessarily surprised because we knew we wanted to see Daniel Bryan versus The Miz and the feud itself continues to be interesting every single week to the point that we continue to want to see more now the question is how deep is WWE gonna go with this are they gonna take it all the way to WrestleMania mania because i can see it happening i also see it happening that they could take it all the way to the royal rumble or to the point where the miss actually wins the championship and then they go on and feel all the way to wrestlemania where daniel bryan finally wins the championship once again but he wins it from the miss making it even more significant that is just a speculation but it was something that was being reported just a couple of months ago so it's kind of crazy that we are still here still talking about it because WWE actually got something good every single week in Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. With that being said, could The Miz be winning the number one contendership match this upcoming weekend? It is very possible and it is the easy way for WWE to even continue this feud and continue to book Daniel Bryan as the underdog that is just trying to beat The Miz to get to the championship. And as always, the last thing that I want to discuss on this roundup heading into SmackDown Live and Monday Monday Night Raw is the preview for the show. Starting off with Monday Night Raw, we're having Ronda Rousey goes one on one with Ruby Riot before the WWE Super Showdown event. The other match that has been confirmed is Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens, and we're also getting Shawn Michaels to hype up the Triple H versus The Undertaker match. And there are multiple reports indicating that The Undertaker and Triple H will be there tonight, so we're probably gonna be getting a very special segment between everyone and as of right now for smackdown live the only thing that is confirmed is that they will continue to build towards the super showdown event and talking about previews a new preview came out for wwe 2k19 check it out it's the never say never trailer which looks pretty sick featuring a lot of superstars like the miz triple h Rey mysterio of course aj style charlotte and so on it is already posted in the wwe 2k official youtube channel channel so go over there and check it out if you haven't just yet so that is it in regards to this roundup episode guys much more episode coming up as we head into the wwe super showdown event so keep a lookout for that and turn on those notifications if you haven't just yet and as i mentioned before this week is also the release of wwe 2k19 this year i'm gonna be streaming the game a lot starting with a midnight release stream which will be on twitch i cannot stress this enough guys you gotta follow me over there because we're gonna be live 24 7 i'm gonna be doing the whole thing so you definitely don't want to miss it nonetheless guys if you haven't subscribed by now make sure to do so and turn on those notifications for all the latest we're in the world to 100 subscribers much to see dig it